Hi Thomas, how are you? I'm very good, how are you? Good, tell us about a little bit about your year, what, what you're studying at Winthrop. Uh, I'm a general studio, um, I'm a sculpture good. and yeah. painting major. Uh -huh. and, uh, it's going pretty good, it's, it's a really uh, easy year for me. I, I don't have a lot of classes this semester and I'm trying to get work out of this semester. That's good. Um, how do you feel like working on this project has helped you in your artistic goals? artist who does artwork for his living and, uh, I mean, and uh, getting to <clears throat> help him with his projects, I mean, that's, that's enough right there to be able to help me with my, uh, you know, that's, just saying that is enough to be able to help me. Sure. Have you been able to help out a lot, or? Oh, yeah, I've been here quite a bit, yeah. I mean, uh. Have you ever worked with natural materials like this before, at this scale, or? Yeah, I mean, somewhat. I mean, not not like he does. Uh huh. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have the, uh, and not definitely not at this scale. I mean, I don't have the handwork and don't have the skills. I mean, I've developed. Yeah. I mean, he's got he's got his system. He's got his developed system. Mm -hmm. I just don't have that system yet. And it takes an entire crew. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Tom. No I just problem. wanted to talk a little bit about um, your experience with it. This is day four of taping, and I believe day seven of the project. This is Patrick Daughtery, the art installation at the Community Performance Center in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, as you can see, quite a work has been done over the weekend. Some noses were added there to the figures. It's the first figure there in the middle, the second figure, as well as Lots of development in the third and fourth figures on that side, which I will show you in a bit. Must have been busy this weekend. It's taken, taken the project to kind of a different look. Um, before the faces without the noses I felt were a little haunting, but um, these noise, the noses, and I don't know if you can see the top, a little bit of hair has been added. <laughs> Uh, makes them a little more playful, um, which I like a lot. A lot less serious with the noses. This is the development of the second figure that I showed you in the last taping. Um, I showed you Patrick working on the very intricate doorways and those first pieces being woven in to create the full shape. It's getting it's getting there. We have Winthrop students here again today working on the project. Sean Cassidy sculpture class. Even though it's spring break, dedicated. Hopefully the sun's not too bright here and you can kind of see um, that was the third shape taking place there. You can see a student working and leaving in the, the saplings when they were moving the scaffolding the other day. And this is the fourth piece taking shape. As you can see, the, the mouth and the eyes have already been created. Quite a few community members have stopped by to look and chat with Patrick about the development of the project, which is great. Lots of people are curious about it. someone making some kind of comment from a van. I'm not really sure what's going on there. And here is the view from across Main Street. You can see the grouping starting to get together there. And then that last face will fit right in there where the um, planted hardwoods are coming up out of the ground. It'll fit right in there since this billboard <laughs> truck going by in the video, it's fine. I'm probably going to miss the most significant developments um, with spring break coming up. I am leaving on Wednesday, um, but hopefully I can get someone down to tape the, the changes that go on during that time. Um, if not, I'll be back on Monday the 22nd to 
see where the project is at. I imagine it'll almost be done by then. And here we are at the corner of Saluda and Main Street. That's where the main face is facing. You can see there are student working in front. The scale is really quite amazing as the project is growing. For those of you that aren't familiar with Rock Hill, this is literally right in the smack of the middle of downtown area. Um, so lots of pedestrian traffic. All the mun municipal buildings and library and stuff are around this area. So it's quite busy, which is good. So a lot of people can see what's being created here.